Since the beginning of time, there have been many questions that humans have yet to answer. Who am I? Why am I here? What is the meaning of life? And how the f do these NFTs work? Like how did this monkey sell for 24 million? Okay, maybe not that one. But an important question that has been the source of many debates, scientific research, and even wars. How was our universe created? What was before the creation of everything? Some turn to religion for an explanation. Perhaps a supernatural being of some sort created the cosmos. Others turn to science, trying to discover evidence to understand the true nature of the world we live in. And some simply give up. I mean, what would be the point of trying to figure out what came before nothing? It's not like it's going to affect us now or anything. Well, it might. Because you could be a hologram. Before we move on, it's important that we understand the fundamentals of the topics that are going to be covered in this video. Black holes. I'm sure we've all heard of them at some point or another. They're super dense stars that have such a strong gravitational pull that even light cannot escape. We've tried to understand and explore more about black holes and we've come quite far in the past few years. And although these findings are great advancements to the field of science, black holes could undermine everything we believed was true about the universe. In the mid-1970s, Stephen Hawking, a world-renowned theoretical physicist, shook the scientific community when he shared his new finding about black holes to the world. The Black Hole Information Paradox. To understand why this was such a big issue, we need to understand the basics of quantum mechanics. Wait, wait, hold on. Don't click off yet. I know this sounds intimidating, but I promise it's actually not too complicated to understand and it's pretty interesting. In quantum mechanics, information is defined as being the information of the state of a quantum system. To put it into words that we can actually understand, here's an analogy. The information we're familiar with typically comes through our five senses, sight, sound, smell, touch, and taste. For example, if we were to eat a kiwi, we might see that it's green, feel that it's slightly squishy, and that it tastes absolutely disgusting. I mean, how can you guys even eat this sh But anyways, you get the point. We can use these adjectives to describe the things we perceive in the world. But in quantum mechanics, it's a little bit different. Quantum information is about the quantum properties of the particles that make up the objects, like their position, velocity, and spin. Everything in the world contains unique quantum properties, and according to the conservation of information, the total amount of quantum information in the universe must be conserved. That means that no matter how much we destroy that kiwi, burn it beyond recognition, and toss it to the deep depths of hell, that information will never be lost. Although I hate to say it, theoretically, we could still gather the Kiwi's quantum data and produce the exact same replica before we did all that destruction. It also means that we could potentially use it to find information about things long before any life forms are developing, and perhaps even a glimpse into what the creation of the universe was like. This rule, although at first seemingly arbitrary and only useful in specific scenarios, it's actually an important foundation upon which a lot of modern science is built. If something were to contradict it, we would have to change our entire understanding of the universe. But that wouldn't happen, right? We'll say hello to the black hole information paradox. <laughs> to put it briefly, in 1974, Stephen Hawking discovered that black holes slowly lose mass. And when I mean slowly, I mean like the Queen of England could live 10 times over and still the black hole wouldn't lose 1 100 millionth of its mass. And no, that's not an exaggeration, that's actually how slow a black hole decays. Nonetheless, it still loses mass through tiny particles, which Stephen Hawking creatively called Hawking radiation. But there's a huge problem. These particles don't seem to contain any information about the things that went into the black hole. They destroy information. This would mean that the conservation of information, the thing that we just said was the foundation of modern physics, would be incorrect. But all hope isn't lost. Scientists have been trying to figure out a solution to the information paradox for decades now, and one seems particularly interesting. One possible solution that was proposed was that when things enter a black hole, its volume increases by a tiny bit, and because its volume increases, so does the surface area. The proposed solution states that the black holes grow large enough to conserve information, and by observing a black hole's surface, we can gather information based on how the surface changes similar to how the surface of water ripples when you throw a rock into it. This is called the holographic principle, but if this is correct, then everything we discovered about the universe is wrong. Let me explain. Suppose that there's an astronaut that's about to meet their end by going through a black hole. 
If the astronaut were to enter the black hole, their information would still be encoded onto the surface of the black hole, called the event horizon. This would effectively make the astronaut into a hologram, a 3D image on a flat surface. The Hawking radiation could then scan the event horizon and take away some of its information, thus keeping the conservation of information still alive. But wait, hold on. The astronaut on the inside of the black hole would still experience their life as if they were in three dimensions. However, when we view them from the outside of the black hole, they are flattened images on the event horizon. This might seem really weird, and it is, but stay with me. Just because these black holes are super mysterious, seemingly law-defining and strange objects in the universe, doesn't mean they don't follow different rules from us. They're still governed by the same laws we're bound to. Which means it's possible that this idea of 2D and 3D for black holes applies to the entire universe, including me and you. If a person in a black hole doesn't realize they're on a flat surface, that means we could also be projected onto a flat surface, located at the end of the universe and not realize it at all. Which means that everyone and everything might be a hologram. Although this might seem scary to some, it's important to remember that this isn't the only theory on the information paradox out there. Tons of scientific research has come out through looking into this paradox, and new discoveries are made every year. Each step in solving this paradox gets us closer to the true nature of the universe, hologram or not. And I think that's the beauty of all this, that we can still discover so much about our universe, and who knows, maybe black holes are the key to solving the unknown laws that govern the world around us. If you watched to the end, thank you. I didn't have time to cover all the nuances in this video, as the science behind this is super deep and complex, involving string theory, extensive mathematical understanding, and so on. But I'll leave some of the resources in the description for those curious to explore more. If you want to learn more about these types of things, please subscribe, and let me know what topics you want me to cover in either the comments or through email. I'd really appreciate it. And that's about it. I'll see you in the next one.